we were looking at Saruman, and we start with a song. I will serve no foreign god, nor any other treasure. You are my heart's desire, the spirit without measure, and unto you I will bring sacrifice. Of course, Saruman is the name of you know, a wizard in Lord of the Rings. And uh, we're actually looking at something close to syncretism uh, because you actually see people mixing up, you know, the Christian faith with, you know, uh, incompatible practices, particularly some of the traditional ways of doing things. And a good example is the Reformed Ogoni Fraternity, uh, which is uh, basically a secret society. And it was actually founded by an Anglican cleric T A J Ogumbi. <laughs> but this is not something that is strange. In fact, if you look at uh, the particular scripture that we are considering today, you see syncretism actually in full display. Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 13. This is God speaking to the prophet. He said to me, Turn again, and you'll see greater abominations that they are doing. So God described this as abomination. So he brought me to the door of the north gate of the Lord's house. This is the Lord's house. And to my dismay, women were sitting there weeping for Thomas. Then he said to me, have you seen this, O son of man? Then again, and you see greater abominations than this. He brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and there at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about 25 men with their backs towards the temple of the Lord and their faces towards the east, and they were worshiping the sun towards the east. So when people start to mix things up, you know, God calls it abomination. And I don't really know why people do that, because there's nothing that we want that we don't have in Christ. You know, whether it's power, which is which I think is really the motivation in some of the mix. You know, people want, you know, to, you know, be part of the church, but they also feel that the church is not as powerful as some of these traditional ways that is able to get a lot of things done. But this is not correct. There's a lot of power in Scripture. There's a lot of power in the faith. You know, and you see this. In Paul writing to the Corinthians, and my speech and my preaching were not with persuasive words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. We need to be people that are showing for this power so that the temptation of being involved in secretism will actually cease. And the only way in which you can demonstrate that power is having close, a close work with the Lord so that God can show forth his power in our lives and convince people you know, to leave those dark hearts and come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ wholly and fully.